Foreign Ministry spokesperson Geng Shuang was asked whether, whether China has invited the DPRK to take part in the Belt and Road Initiative back in 2015. Geng Shuang says that the, the DPRK will send a senior level official delegation to the upcoming Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation to be held this weekend in Beijing. He also says that the, uh, the Belt and Road Initiative is an open one and any countries that cherish the same ideals and follow the same path can take part in, connect their own development plan with other countries and share the benefits of international cooperation. But he does not agree with the wording, the uh, the words that there are any members under the Ban Belt and Wan Road Initiative. Any country that cherishes the same ideals and follows the same path can take part in it and connect its own development plan with other countries. By strengthening the international cooperation, these countries can benefit themselves and improve the international economy as well. I don't think there's a so-called Belt and Road membership, and any country which is interested and shares the same ideals can take part in. Also on the Belt and Road Initiative, some media reports say it's facing some difficulties and challenges with, while being pushed forward. While Geng Shuang says that the, deep, uh, the Belt and Road Initiative was proposed amid a weak global economic recovery, it aims to integrate resources and help strengthen international cooperation among countries and help countries, especially developing countries, to tackle challenges and develop. He says that difficulties are inevitable, but efforts to push it forward will not stop. The purpose of the forum is to summarize the experiences, lay out the blueprint, analyze the problems, and face the challenges through joint efforts. We believe that the forum will be a success with the efforts of all parties, and the Belt and Road Initiative will constantly move forward by overcoming challenges and difficulties. Wu Guoxiu, CGTN, Beijing.